Hello, thank you, Ben. Well, I promise I do have some dry weather in the forecast coming up, but we've been hearing a lot about the rain. There's certainly been a lot of it for many this morning, particularly across parts of central southern England. Also, some thunderstorms breaking out. His beautiful North Uist in the Western Isles is sent in by one of our weather watchers. And there'll be more heavy, thundery showers breaking out as we head through the rest of the day, sparked off by the daytime heating. And there are localised Met Office weather warnings in force. Hello, good afternoon. Plenty of dry and sunny weather to come in the forecast as we head through the rest of the week. But for this morning, it's been a very soggy start to the day with an area of rain just gradually pushing northwards. Lots of very wet pavements out there, of course, across the capital and still the chance of a few showers breaking out as we go through this afternoon. But they'll be few and far between. It's a lot drier for the second half of the day. Ali had a terrible night's sleep last oh. night. Please tell me it will not happen tonight. Uh, mm, well, I can't guarantee, Caroline. It depends what your pre-bed routine is, doesn't it? You know, that is always the key to a good sleep. Are you having lavender tea or whatever? <laughs> no, um, uh, sorry, I do actually quite like lavender tea. Um, it's a bit stuffy. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably going to be fairly similar tonight. I'm actually not finding it too bad. It might be all right the next couple of days. It's all, it depends on your setup. But we're going to get humid again into the weekend, I'm afraid, and hotter as well. Here we go. Let's take a look. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely day. I hope you managed to get some rain. I know it's not everyone's favourite thing, but we do need it finally. And I hope you didn't get too much. Tomorrow should be a brighter, drier day, a few showers around. And as we go through the week, fewer showers still getting drier and warmer too. We could get up to 30 degrees by the weekend. We'll keep an eye on that for you. And the outlook shows things generally improving as we go through the week, but actually getting quite warm as we head into the weekend, maybe even hot, you might say. Let's take a look at the pollen. So the pollen is fluctuating a little bit, but not between anything particularly pleasing. Very high and high. If you've had any showers, that might help a touch, but generally it's pretty difficult at the moment with grass and weed pollen. I'll see you later on. Cheerio. Good evening to you. We'll start with this dramatic weather watcher picture from Jersey. I think this was taken earlier on today. I'll just move out of the way. So what's happening here? Well, we think colder air is coming out of the thunderstorm and it's just basically whipping up some moisture nearer the surface and then that forms another cloud. It almost looks like an outline of some sort of aquatic uh, creature, maybe some sort of shark or something. And then towards the end of the weekend, the weekend, we are going to see hot air arriving from Spain, Portugal and France once again. So that means that the temperatures are set to rise across some parts of the country, not everywhere. In fact, we'll probably be approaching 30 degrees across the south and the southeast through the weekend. So hot and sunny weekend due in the south. Elsewhere, I think it could be a little more on the mix side. Now, did you hear the rain and thunder overnight where you are? Uh, well, Elizabeth's got the weather and uh, it seems to have calmed down a bit. Yeah, it certainly has. It's been a rather changeable day of weather, Riz, hasn't it? Because we started off with that heavy thundery rain moving in from the south through this morning. So a very soggy start to the day. Just check out this weather watcher picture from Red Hill. Right old deluge here. Lots of very soggy pavements, lots of surface water and some soggy, um, really quite uh, water waterlogged uh, school sports fields as well today for sports days, I imagine, right across the capital. But happily, it did cheer up, of course, into the afternoon with some sunny spells. And Here's one sporting event that wasn't affected by the weather. The clouds always threaten, but the showers never materialised, of course, so we got away with uh, a day's play at Queen's. And Alex is at Royal Ascot, where the King and Queen were earlier today. And Alex, it's been pretty perfect conditions there, hasn't it? Oh, Mary, it has been a great start to Royal Ascot. The weather has been on the warm side, if a little muggy, and there are chances that temperatures will rise even higher as we head through the course of this week. So it could become a little uncomfortable for some of those outside. But we'll talk more about that in just a second. But of course, Royal Ascot is often a royal appointment. And uh, earlier today, we saw King Charles III arriving in the royal carriage alongside his wife, Queen Camilla, dressed in white with a uh, matching hat to go and fascinator. Uh, but that's as far as my hat knowledge goes, unfortunately. But it was a, a lovely reception, a warm welcome for uh, the King and Queen. And as we know, uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, adored Royal Ascot uh, and, uh, you know, definitely thoughts were with her today, I can assure you. Uh, also, the outfits never disappoint. The spectators certainly dressed up to the nines. And I have to say, for a good part of the day, it was quite cloudy, but there was a good splash of colour with the dresses and the hats. And the gentlemen didn't look too bad either. But as I say, they may have to make some adjustments as we head through the course of this week, as they did last year. 
common sense will always prevail in this situation. So if the temperatures get hot, we'll make sure that the, the gentlemen and the ladies here feel as comfortable as they can. And that may mean some modifications in terms of taking off jackets and hats, but we have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. But we're always making sure that the race goers um, are comfortable and happy. Well, let's take a look at the forecast for Royal Ascot as we head through the next four days. And as you can see, there is a chance of a shower tomorrow, but then it is a dry one as we head into the weekend with temperatures heading into the high 20s, if not 30. So, as you say, uh, Mary, it has been a good start to Royal Ascot. The weather looking good throughout this week, but perhaps some adjustments in terms of those outfits if you're going to feel comfortable in that hot weather.